What's up? This is Freeman from Paranoid.life talking about privacy, security, and self-hosting to help you take back control over your digital world. Today we're just going to go over a quick installation of the Tor browser. If you are watching this video, you probably already know what Tor is, but if you aren't familiar with it, Tor is basically the de facto tool for anonymizing traffic on the internet. The Tor browser is a special version of Firefox that the Tor developers created that has all the settings built into it for you to browse the web anonymously. Keep in mind that Tor isn't without its drawbacks. There have been people who have been de-anonymized while using Tor, and there are some theoretical attacks that may be able to be leveled against it as well. But for the most part, and for most purposes, it works just fine. In a future post, we'll go more into depth on Tor, the Tor browser, the Tails Linux distro, the Hunix distro, I2P, and other anonymizing tools. This post is meant to help you hit the ground running if, say, you don't have a Tails VM or a Tails USB handy, and you need to do some quick anonymous web surfing. Okay, let's get into it. I will be doing this on the Arch Linux distro, but it should also work on any other distro you're on. Also, uh, if you, there are some dependencies to the Tor browser, but if you have a desktop environment or a window manager and some, and everything that goes with it, you probably have everything you need. All right, first things first, you'll want to make your way to the Tor Projects website and specifically the Tor browser download page. Uh, you've got the URL up here, but also you can always search it in your DuckDuckGo search engine because you are using DuckDuckGo, right? All right, and you just scroll down here. You're going to want the stable Tor browser. They're on version 7.0.10 right now. Uh, Go to the language of your choice. I'll be using English. And we'll be using the GNU Linux archive file. Pick your architecture, your CPU architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit. And uh, I'll be using the 64-bit. This is your archive file right here. This is your signature file. So you can either left-click this, or you can right-click and save link as. Your other option is to, if you're a super duper command line nerd, you can use curl. And I've got the curl commands here up on the screen, but I will also put them in the blog post for you in case you want to use those. And I've already gone ahead and downloaded the archive file to my system because it's pretty big and it takes a while. But I'll go ahead and show you how to grab this uh, this verification, this PGP ASC file that's used to verify the archive file. So yeah, Tor Browser, Linux, 64-bit, right version, right language, and it's .asc. As you can see, I already have one, but we'll go ahead and do it again. And replace. Cool. Next, you are going to want to verify that the archive file matches the PGP signature. And uh, you can do that if you scroll down a little bit here on that same Tor browser page, Tor browser download page. You can see they have some instructions on how to verify package, sig package signatures. You can follow that link and it will take you here. Whoop, whoop, here on the how to verify signatures for packages page. So this is some good information. I do suggest you read it, but obviously we will be needing to come down here to the Mac OS X and Linux section. All right, first you're gonna want to download, I'm sorry, not download, uh, grab this right here, this command right here, so that we can import the the G, their uh, PGP key. And actually, we'll just go ahead and close this guy out. Paste it here. 
Awesome. Boom. Done. All right. So we've got the key. And they suggest that we verify that the fingerprint is correct. Just paste that in. Boom. Awesome. Next, scroll down a little bit further. And you'll see for Linux users, you've got here a command to verify the archive file with the uh, ASCII armor file. And we'll just go ahead and put that in there. Nope. I'm going to leave this in here, actually. I'm not even going to edit that out because this crap happens. You're going to CD to your downloads directory. Then do that. All right. So this is the output you get. And let's look at it. Does it match this? Yes. Yes, it do. All right. You can continue down here and verify the SHA-256 sums if you want. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. OK, next, go back up here to your Tor Browser download page. Scroll down even further. Look at that. Linux instructions. Isn't that handy? All right. So you're just going to use tar to extract the archive file. So let's go ahead and do that. Tar xvjf. And let's go ahead and we'll just use this here. Tar X B J F Lovely. Next. Oh, obviously use the uh the one that's correct for your for your uh, archive file you used, but if you did what I just did, it's gonna be fine. Alright, now you're gonna CD into the Tor browser directory and then you can start her up. So let's go ahead and do that. ls, and we're going to cd into tor browser en us. There we are. There's our start tor browser desktop. Actually, let's uh, let's make sure. Yeah, cool. We are executable. We are the owner which is awesome. Oops, all right. All right, you ready? Cool. So let's come up now. Um, if you are just at home, and you're doing the same thing I'm doing, just which is running this stuff from at home. Just go ahead and click connect. Look at that. All right, let's move this to uh, let's move this over here to a different different window. All right, you are now using the Tor browser. Let's test our network settings. Okay, and I can go ahead and tell you that this is definitely not my home IP address. 
So we are good to go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That was our quick installation of the Tor browser. Be sure to check out the Paranoid.Life blog post on this topic, just in case there were any details that weren't mentioned in this video. And feel free to hit me up with any comments or questions. Otherwise, happy browsing and stay paranoid.